Hey everyone, I'm Deanna Corby with Deanna Corby Dressage. Thanks so much for joining me today for another video. Uh, this is going to be another video for my pregnant equestrian series because I haven't just eaten too many donuts. I am actually six and a half months pregnant today. That's beautiful. Say cheese. Say cheese. Say Deanna's pregnant. Oh! six and a half months pregnant today and I've gotten uh, together a couple of videos so far a little handful of videos about what it's like to be a professional pregnant equestrian uh, today I'm with my little potato here this is my um, 19 month old Hanoverian so he's gonna hang out with me and wear his big boy pants hopefully for this video but uh, today I want to talk to you guys about some things that they don't tell you uh, that you can expect as a pregnant equestrian. You know, there's not a whole lot of material out and available for us pregnant equestrians. And it's kind of hard to find a doctor that knows about horses and that realizes that horses, not all horses, are killers and dangerous to be around when you're pregnant. So um, I've, I've uh, had kind of a hard time really in um, finding reliable information out there on the internet for going through this next chapter in my life. Uh, so I wanted to create some videos for anyone else in my position here in the future. So some things that they don't tell you that you don't maybe expect as a pregnant equestrian is number one um, every pregnancy is different just because something worked for somebody doesn't mean it's gonna work for you and vice versa um, you need to really communicate with your doctor exactly what you do as an equestrian uh, I'm a dressage trainer that doesn't mean I'm jumping that doesn't mean I'm um, a jockey or a rodeo queen or barrel racer or you know stuff like that so you need to communicate exactly what your day looks like to your doctor so that they can understand where you're coming from with um, your what you do with your body uh, on an everyday basis um, so um, understanding that your pregnancy might not look like your friend's pregnancy who is an equestrian or is not uh, is step one I think um, also uh, <laughs> I've learned that there is no bigger group ready to give you unsolicited advice and ask you personal questions about your body than uh, previous or current mothers and pregnant ladies um, oh my gosh um, I'm even though I make YouTube videos I'm I'm kind of a private person and uh, I've been pretty overwhelmed with the amount of people offering me unsolicited unwanted <laughs> advice and personal stuff and asking about you know my my private body parts are commenting on my private body parts I wasn't prepared for that so um, I think creating boundaries and only sharing as much as you want to share because you will get back advice five times the amount of advice of stuff that you share whether you want that advice or not so preparing yourself mentally for for that aspect is something that I wasn't aware of until I started this journey sharing my pregnancy journey online with everyone um, third is you're gonna be pulling out your fat pants for riding also tights are really helpful uh, winter tights and in my case summer uh, um, summer tights and in my case winter tights because I've spent most of my pregnancy in the fall and in the winter um, I've been wearing stuff that doesn't need to be zipped up and buttoned up and if I have it's been my fat pants so there is a time and a place for your fat pants for riding um, personally I rode up until the um, until six months 
so I've only been not riding for a few weeks here and it was a personal choice my OBGYN said that I could keep riding until week number 26 I went until like week number 24 before taking my um, FEI horse to my trainers for work and then I have this guy who's not started under saddle yet just costing me money sitting around the pasture <laughs> but um anyway finding pants to ride in has been a little bit of a challenge because the um, pants extender that they make for blue jeans for instance doesn't really fit all riding pants so i put in the description section below this video i put a couple of of uh, my favorite pants that i found as well as the one belt ex or the one pants extender that i found that worked for me i'll leave that for you guys down below um the biggest thing that i want to talk about today something that i didn't expect as a pregnant equestrian is the anxiety that came along for me personally um yeah i i wasn't expecting to feel this anxious as a rider i'm not riding anymore but as a rider i wasn't expecting to feel this anxious as a pregnant equestrian you know there's so many well-meaning friends and family members that are you know asking me and talking to me about um how I need to be careful and I know that um, so it's been playing in the back of my mind about how I need to be careful and it's been causing me anxiety or it was when I was riding and I didn't feel like I was as an effective rider because I was so overwhelmed with anxiety um, by myself and you know well-meaning friends and family like I said and uh, got in my head a little bit so I was not prepared for that aspect. I think it, that anxiety is one of the main reasons why I did less and I, uh, as a rider when I was riding and I stopped sooner because I, would, I wouldn't like push through things. I would, um, you know, I ended up not being as effective and so I spent, I didn't can't, you know, ended up not cantering very much. And, you know, it just wasn't as good of a rider there towards the end. And it was just because I was trying to be so careful. Um, so the anxiety and the need and the desire to, you know, be really careful is, you know, something that hit me pretty hard that I wasn't expecting. Um, you know, if I, if you ask a pregnant equestrian how their riding is going, they'll probably say, oh, great. But, and I, and I did say that to my, you know, other friends and everybody asking, but you know, that's, that's the truth. The anxiety got to me and I am not a very, you know, anxious rider. I understand riding with anxiety, but that level of anxiety of trying to be so careful for, you know, caring for this valuable life inside of me was something I wasn't expecting. Um, let's see, what else is there, you furry beast? Um, one eternity later. Something else that I wasn't expecting is my losing, not my balance, I feel like I've stayed pretty balanced the whole time, but losing my strength and my stamina. Like, I lose my breath really easily. Um, I lost my strength, your, you know, my core strength, um, and towards the end there, even getting up out of the saddle to post the trot was becoming a problem. Um, just that little bit of core strength needed to post um, was something that went away. It's not really my balance, um, but yeah, my strength, my stamina, um, that's something I wasn't expecting. So anyway, I hope this helps you guys if you are currently pregnant or would like to be pregnant in the future. I hope this material, these videos are helpful for you. If they are, be sure and give me a like, subscribe to my channel, and I'll